Hi YouTube friends, Lil L Thrifter here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper mache pumpkin. Um, back when I was younger, we used to do paper mache all the time. Um, I did start to do one with tissue paper. Um, I saw it in a Martha Stewart book. I did it the way I used to do it when I was younger, with newspaper, water, and flour. The tissue paper, it was very thin. It like flew across the room a few times. Um, it was just harder because I was trying to do something different. But this time, um, I'm going to use good old fashioned newspaper, flour, and water to make the paste. So you'll need newspaper scissors to cut the pieces. You'll need um, paint and a paintbrush to paint your pumpkin once it's all dried. And then to make the stem, I'm using um, uh, the wire and um, tape. It's a florist tape and it's self-stick. Make sure you're wrapping it the right way. And then to light your pumpkin afterwards, you're going to use those little battery-operated battery little, like, lights. In my Halloween video, I kept saying tea light, but I meant, you know, these battery-powered lights. So, um, and then you're going to need an X-Acto knife because you're going to have to cut the top of the pumpkin. Um, and then balloons. So it's best to... Sit your balloon on something so you could work on it better. Um, and then to make the paste, and you could blow the balloon up any size you want, but to make the paste, it's just good old fashioned flour and water. And you just uh, add a little at a time and you're gonna keep mixing it until you get the consistency you want. You don't want, you don't want it to be, um, too thick or too thin so you just keep adding water and stirring it and that's going to be your paste and you're going to shred your newspapers and um, basically just cover it with the paste and apply it to your balloon so you mix it until all the lumps are out and it's nice and smooth. A little bit more. And I'll show you. Uh, but you could play with it. and So it's going to be just really smooth like that. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut your newspaper in strips. And then make sure that it's it'll run the whole length of the balloon from the top to the bottom to get the whole you know length of the balloon in. So when I'm doing this, I'm gonna do a strip here, here, and here, like a cross, because then this will start falling over. So um, to keep it weighted down. Um, so what you do is you're going to just take the strips and just run it, just dip it in your bowl. I should have put my mat down. I forgot. You want to cover your surface with newspaper or I have a uh, thick craft mat I usually use um, so you don't get it everywhere. But it's just, like I said, flour and water. So you cover the whole piece like so. And you just apply it on and just run it all the way along. And it's a lot of fun. I did this a lot when I was younger, growing up. I did it with my son when he was growing up. It's a lot of fun um, to do paper mache. And so, okay, so I applied it that way. So I'm going to turn it and I'm going to apply, see how it's wanting a tip? So then you get another one and you cover it again. Just saturate it 
and then see how I'm running my fingers through to get the excess off. Just make sure the whole newspaper is covered. And then you go on the other side and apply it. Oh. And then um, like so. And you smooth it out. And so you're going to keep on doing that. So then I'll run from this way, one this way, and then you just keep applying your strips, overlap them a little bit. And then once it's all covered, then what you're going to do is you're going to hang it upside down, put up a piece of twine or something and use a, a clip, one of those chip clips or um, a wooden clothespin and you're going to clip it to the line and you're going to let it hang to dry. It usually takes about 12 hours or so all depending on you know how many layers you put on. Don't put too many. Just enough to cover the balloon all the way around. And like I said the next piece will overlap it a little bit because as it dries and shrinks you don't want to see the balloon showing through. So make sure you overlap it um, a little bit as you go. So once you cover that up, like I said, you hang it up to dry. And I'll show you the next step in a minute. Okay, so once it's dry, it's going to be like this. It's all dry. So you're going to take your paint. I found this in the Dollar Tree. They have so many paints you could choose from. Of course, I chose the orange. Um, you have your paintbrush. Sit it in the bowl again because it's easier to paint it that way. And once it's all painted, allow it to dry. So once it's dry, you're going to have... this so I painted it all and it dried you could put two coats if you want to so now what I did was I made a hole in the bottom and how you do that is you cut it with an exacto knife make sure you're on a surface with newspaper because it's gonna crumble so that way it could sit so then you're gonna cut the top open I'm gonna show you now and as you can see I already carved out my face and so what I'm going to do is carve out the top put my eyeballs on and I already drew a circle already so I know about where I'm going to cut because this is going to be the lid so you just Go in a back and forth motion to cut it out. And these work just great. Try not to squeeze too much because you don't want to crush your, your piece. Got it almost. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the stem. Woo. So there you go. I cut the hole. And so I made a little hole here. So what I did was I got the wire and I formed a stem. So cut a good length, and I just shaped it. I didn't know what I was doing. I just shaped it like a stem would be. So I bent it in half, then bent it again. And then the part that's going to go up through the pumpkin, you want it to stay in there so it doesn't come out. So you make like little legs. 
like that. Then I took the, um, it's a floral tape, it's self-sealing, and you can get that at the Dollar Tree. I just happened to get it at Walmart because that's where I was at the time. And now there's a sticky side and a not sticky side. So before when I was doing this, I'm wrapping and wrapping. I'm like, why isn't this thing sticking? So um, you got to make sure you get this, the right side, you know, um, down so it sticks. And you just keep wrapping it around to make a stem. Now here's my stem. You can make it wider if you want to. And so now this is the first time I'm doing this here stem. So hopefully it'll work. You just stick it through. I might have to make my hole a little bit wider and I didn't quite make it in the center but you want to make it a little bit wider so it fits so here's my stem and then just bend it inside See, so got that bent so that it won't come out. So there's the top to my pumpkin. And you could mark it so you'll know where exactly it goes back on every time. Just use a marker. And there's my pumpkin. And I'm going to show it to you lit. So I'll set them right here. And I'll put the little lighted lights in there. And just stick them underneath. Hopefully that'll be enough light. Or I could actually place them through there. Okay, now I'm going to shut the light and hopefully he'll glow good. <laughs> Can you see him? And there's the pumpkin. Yay! So have a happy Halloween and thanks for watching. Ciao!